Hi, I'm Steve Wood. I'm a Contra Nexus Applications Engineer. What I want to show you is our C55 distance sensors. It comes in two varieties, a current output and a voltage output. Both of them also have discrete outputs, so it's a dual output device. This is a laser device. Um, it runs to 5 meters and it has, it's built out of plastic with an acrylic face. It's ultrasonically welded for IP69 conditions. Um, it has an adjustable connector so that you can adjust it to come out the back or the side or however you need it. Okay, It has uh, connections right here to go on this mount where it would just simply slide down in like this. Um, you can turn it around and you can put this part over here if you need to to adjust it that way however you need it. This can be turned so that you can mount that way, um, any which way, and because of the spring-loaded tensioners, you can do any axial alignments that you'd like to. This sensor will sense out to 5 meters using a laser. It's always important when you're using laser devices to terminate the laser so that it does not go carrying beyond your sensing field or possibly damage somebody's eyes. To start with, how do you do a factory reset on this device? You press and hold both of these buttons and install power. And after 10 seconds, both yellow indicators should light. And now it's factory reset. So let's say you want to set up the analog for this. The way you set up analog is using the QA button. So I'll show you how to set it up for analog and digital outputs. For analog, what you do is you press the QA button for three seconds, and both lights will light. And then select the other point and press it one time. And you'll see here I'm outputting the 10 volts coming back to zero. I can do it the opposite direction where I set it for the far distance and press and hold for three seconds both lights will come on press one more time and now you get the high voltage here and the low voltage there. To set it up it, it basically sets a window um, anything beyond that's not going to give you more than 10. Anything under that's not going to give you less than 0. So the same thing happens when you do the uh, window setting for your discrete output. Discrete, you press and hold the Q for 3 seconds. Both lights will light. You pick that one point of the window. You pick the other point of the window. And that's it. Now. It's outputting right now. I know that because the orange indicator that is attached to Q is outputting. If you take that away, you can see that it's not outputting. It will output anywhere in that window and stop when I exceeded it. This device has an auto detect feature for PNP or NPM polarity. I'm going to show you how to switch it out of auto detect and into one or the other in case you need to. You'll see right now that it's set up on PNP. What I can do is press and hold this Q. I'm supposed to hold it for greater than 13 seconds. Yellow and green will, will flash at the same time. When I let go, they both flash at the same time. If I press it once, I, I, I've taken it out of PNP into NPN. and the same procedure to, to change it. Just press and hold
and one more time. Wait 10 seconds. To change from normally open to normally closed, you press the Q until both lights flash alternately. About 10 seconds. And if you press it one more time, that switches it and let it go. Or you can press it one more time, that switches it and let it go. If it um, if the yellow is on and the green is flashing, it's normally open. If the green is flashing and the yellow is off, it's normally closed.